Hello YouTube! Today we are going to measure the compressive strength of a dry pour concrete and compare its strength to a wet pour concrete. So, if you are considering using dry pour concrete method for your next project, then this video is for you. And to do that, we will be using this rebound hammer, which is used by many in the construction industry to test the compressive strength and integrity of the concrete. And this is the calibration for this rebound hammer, so this will make sure that we get the proper measurement. And we're going to take a strength measurement on day 7, 14, 21, and at 30 days. So we can put an actual number on how strong each concrete gets every 7 days. Just to let you know, I purchased this product just for this video and hopefully this will help answer the question on how strong a dry pour concrete really is compared to a regular mixed concrete. And if this video helped answer that question for you, I hope that you return the favor by subscribing to my channel clicking the like button, and leaving a comment below so that YouTube can push this video in front of more people. To be honest, I actually considered using the dry pour method building this slab right here, but a lot of you convinced me otherwise. But I still consider this as a viable option for other projects. So if we can put an actual number on the difference in strength between the dry pour and the wet pour, then I believe this will help many DIYers like us in making the right decision if a dry pour method is something that we can use in our project. If you look here, I took a video when we created this concrete slab. I will share that with you once I finish putting it together. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see how I tackled my first concrete slab project. For this experiment, we will use that 4,500 PSI concrete from Cermix Concrete. So that product is available at Lowe's and I picked that because it has a higher PSI rating than the Quickrete concrete for the same price. Quickrete is rated for 4,000 PSI while this one is rated for 4,500 PSI. In that form, we're going to use the same method popularized by the Cajun country, which is mist, wait one hour, and apply the second mist, wait another hour, use the shower option, at least two showers per inch. This is a two by four, so I'm gonna be showering it eight times. In that form right there, I'm gonna prepare the regular mixed concrete. Okay, so let's begin preparing our sample. Okay, so over here, we're gonna put our dry pour concrete sample. Okay, so we're gonna start missing this box right here. And once I start showering this thing, I'm going to build the regular mixed concrete over there. Because I don't want to give that thing a head start when it comes to curing. So let me go miss this thing first. And basically on the third hour, I'm gonna start mixing the concrete for that thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first miss. And that's all you want for this one. Okay, so it's been an hour already. So looks like it's a little hard already, but let me go do another miss just like the instruction. Okay, and then we're gonna leave that alone for another hour. Okay, so I'm not going to touch this anymore, but I'm going to continue watering the dry pour concrete and we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, so today we are going to remove the forms on these two samples. Again, this is the one that we prepared. This is the wet pour concrete. We mix the concrete properly and pour it in the form. This one here is a dry pour following the popular instructions on the internet, which is mist mist and showering every hour for eight times okay so this is the wet poured concrete and that is the other sides look like right now uh, it looks like they are curing properly okay so now let's go ahead and remove this Okay, so the side on this uh, dry poured concrete actually looks a lot better than the wet poured. Look at that. 
it is a lot smoother of course the top's not it's not gonna be as smooth because when you water it the sand is coming out but let me go do some close up here so you can see how it looks like and let's go check the back side right here okay so they both look solid to me so we're, we'll just wait for four more days and we'll measure their compressive strength okay guys so today's day seven and we're gonna be measuring the compressive strength of this wet pour concrete and this dry pour concrete let's go ahead and prepare the samples what i'm gonna do is label this thing basically we're gonna do a lot of tests here so just gonna put lines here according to the manual from the hammer test you need to have at least 0.75 inch distance between each test that you have okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and put something that is at least a little over one inch okay so now using this hammer test we're gonna be testing this in 10 different locations and we're going to do an average on them I'm gonna go pick this side right here that is on the 19 so this one is about the same 19 this one went to 21 this one is exactly at 20 okay so let's go ahead and prepare this driver sample and let me label this thing That's number one. Okay, so here is the final result. So this is the wet pour right here. So right here, you see that we have test one is 19, test two is 19, and then we come up with 21, 20, 20, 18, 22, 22, 20, 20, for a total of 201. And basically, when you average that 201 divided by 10 tests, I come up with 20.1. Each megapascal or Newton square per millimeter is equivalent to 145 PSI. So the total is 2914.5 PSI for the wet pour. Now, for the dry pour, we got test one is 10. And then we got 12, 15, 10, 12, 15, 16, 15, 12, 10, for a total of 127. Average is 12.7. If we multiply this by 145, we come up with the 1,841. So for the first seven days, the wet pour is already 1,000 PSI stronger than the dry pour. And we'll see, maybe the dry pour is just curing slower compared to the wet pour. So we'll see after day 14, day 21, and day 30 if dry pour is going to be able to catch up to the wet pour. So if you wanted to see those videos, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you can get notified once I uploaded those in the next three weeks. And I hope that this video is helpful to you. If it does, please help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button. And thank you for watching.